what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel it's me your girl leah lee and i'm so happy once again to be bringing you guys yet another facial treatment i'm going to be doing the hydrodermabrasion with oxygen infusion today beginning this treatment with the green tea citrus cleanser this is you know my go-to one of the go-to cleansers to begin a treatment with so i'm going to start today with this cleanser i'm going to work this really well into her skin with my hands and my fingertips first and then i'm going to eventually bring in the sponges i did chop this video up a little bit more this go around than the last treatment video that i uploaded just simply because my nerves are bad y'all when it just is sitting there and i know some of y'all enjoy the longer videos but for my own sanity i had to chop it up i hope y'all are okay with that y'all let me know in the comments what content you are looking forward to next All right, so now I'm going to bring in the Raspberry Refining Cleanser. This has salicylic, glycolic, and tea tree in this cleanser as the highlighted ingredients. My client does have normal to oily skin, so we're going to just say a combination. And her trouble area or, you know, the, the tricky area that she most struggles with is typically on her forehead. And I was asking her, I'm like, okay, girl, so what's going on up here? And she was like, honestly, I think it's my diet and, uh, you know, a few other things that she mentioned. So this cleanser is definitely going to help to fix that area. So my boo, Caitlin, does have her own esthetician business. She is an esthetician as well. So shout out to her. Here is her business IG. And she supported your girl in more than a few ways. She took the Thrive Esthetician course. She comes in and, you know, gets her facials. And she is also in the Thrive Esthetician group chat. I had a lot of inquiries about that when I mentioned it in my last video. If y'all want to be included in the group chat and you are a licensed esthetician or active student, send me a DM to my Glam by Leah Lee Esthetician page with a screenshot of either your license or your student ID or some type of information verifying that you're an active student getting back to why we are all here using the zmitz skin purifying hydro peeling solution for oily and problematic skin i'm going to put this into my machine and this is going to be the serum that is going to be infused in her skin just to be clear because i know someone may think or wonder why i was using the sponge to damp her skin the skin does need to be wet during this process so to help me in the beginning i just used the sponge this Z Salic Pure solution, key ingredients are salicylic acid, which helps to exfoliate and reduces acne, aloe vera leaf extract that calms and soothes the skin, turmeric root extract, a powerful antioxidant that fights free radicals, and ginger root extract. It helps to soothe and has a strong anti-inflammatory feature. And the machine that I'm using is from the company called Dermagem. It is the Anima Element Hydrodermabrasion and Oxygen Infusion Machine and is current, currently retailed at $3,400. It comes with all the tips and the solutions and serums are sold separately. With the treatment that I'm doing on her right now, this will be considered um, a double exfoliation because I am using the diamond microdermabrasion tip as well as the solution which is considered a chemical exfoliation with the hydrodermabrasion. You put them together with this tip and it allows for um, you know a deep effective exfoliation without irritation.
Now using the spiral deep tip, this is made of a soft silicone. You can create a gentle vacuum pressure that is perfect for extractions, which is what I'm using this tip for. Now that the hydrodermabrasion portion of this treatment is finished, I am going to apply the lemon zest enzyme on her. She did let me know that this is typically a little too spicy, too tingly for her, so keep the facial fans nearby. As you can see, I got just to the point where we were finished applying the enzyme and she was like, okay, let's switch. Let's turn the steam off, put the facial fans on to keep me cooler, and that's what we did. As far as extractions go, most of them were on her forehead and of course the obvious nose area. I went over the rest of her face but nothing was really there for me to extract. That really wasn't shown in the video just because, I mean, there wasn't anything to see.
Now using the Z Luminoxy Skin Brightening and Revitalizing Serum. This is a blend of natural brightening extracts, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and glycolic acids. This formula gently exfoliates the skin with glycolic acid while deeply moisturizing with hyaluronic to bring a natural glow to the skin. This amazing serum is combined with lemon fruit, bearberry, licorice root extract as these ingredients are perfect for skin brightening. The powerful bearberry extract is a botanical skin lightener. The Z Lumen Oxy helps to block the formation of color pigments as well as lightening spots, freckles, and sunspots. I would like to let y'all know that the reason that my oxygen infusion tool is missing its top is because it fell on the floor during the treatment. Uh, well, actually before the treatment and I just left it on the floor and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just leave it there and I'll pick it up when it's time to clean up. A little bit more about the oxygen infusion. This is a perfect follow up to the hydrodermabrasion and or any other treatment that you may be doing, especially in my opinion, after extractions. It has soothing, cooling, and healing benefits that really help to calm the skin. Now that I am done with the infusion, I am going to apply the Egyptian Rose Hydrating and Wrinkle Care Hydro Jelly Mask from SD Max, as well as the Discoloration Alpha Arbutin Mask. These are a combination of the two. To tone her skin, I'm going to use the Skin Script Cucumber Toner. I am now going to apply the Skin Script Ageless Hydrating Serum. And on top of that, I'm going to apply the Hydrating Moisturizer by SkinScript as well as the Image Daily SPF and this is the Matte SPF. The Hydrating Moisturizer and the image SPF does take a little bit to make sure that it is seamless and flawlessly rubbed in. So just be patient with your products, give it a little time to air dry and it'll, you know, eventually rub in. 
To finish off this treatment, I'm using the Image Hermetic Lip Balancing Complex, which everyone loves. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where to leave all the fabulous comments. If you have any uh, critiquing, you can leave those in the comments as well. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video with everyone you share your skincare videos with. See y'all later.